If you're a property investor or interested in property investment, let me show you something that's gonna blow your mind right now. That house right there, that end house, that rents out for 950 pounds per month. The middle house rents out for 875 pounds a month. And then this one right here, see this one, my house, that rents out for 4,000 pounds per month. What's so special about that house? How is it different? It's not different, it's pretty much identical. It's just who I choose to rent it out to. Let me show you what I'm talking about, look, come on. So this is a house right now, which we just bought. I bought this myself along with my brother. I could rent this out just the traditional way on an AST contract. When you rent the property out, it's a short, short hold tenancy. Normally they're gonna, your tenants are gonna stay for a minimum of six to 12 months. The tenants are gonna pay the council tax, get a removal van, have to pay a deposit. You're in a long contract. I'd only rent this out for 800 quid a month. However, this property, instead of renting out to tenants, we've chosen to rent it out to guests. Because I rent this out on short stay lets, which means that you can stay here for a minimum of two nights, and then you can go. No deposit, no commitment. I, I rent this out for 130 to 250 pounds per night. So on average, this property brings in 4,000 pounds a month instead of 850. Now, of course, we've, we've got to pay cleaners and we've got to pay you know, expenses. The profit afterwards is probably two, three, or even four times as much as it would be. So why would somebody pay 150, 250 pounds a night or 4,000 pounds a month to stay in this property? Why would they not just pay next door 850 pounds a month? And the answer is, it's convenience. Imagine you only need somewhere for a week or a month. You're not gonna be able to rent a normal house. This is fully furnished. You've got your fridge freezer. You've got your Wi-Fi set up. You've got your cushions. Everything is completely ready to go. Everything's set up. Normally when you move house, you've got to install the Wi-Fi. You've got to set up the council tax. This is like ready to go. It's like a, a microwave house. It's just fast. And, and people want that convenience. So that's all the good. I've given you all the advantages of which there's a lot. What's the disadvantages? Well, the disadvantages is you need to actually run this as a business and you need to have systems up in place. Because hotels, for example, hotels have got full-time cleaners, they've got a full-time receptionist, they've got staff. If you're setting up a property like this, you need to be able to systemize it. You need to have key safe outside, you need to have a cleaning company that can help manage the diary. Once you've set it up once, you're good. You can then run all your properties like this, but initially getting that system set up properly, it does take a little bit of time, it does take a little bit of work, and it does take a little bit of training and education, in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you upstairs, and I'm gonna talk to you about who the heck is paying 150 to 250 pounds a night to stay here. Let's go. You need to always keep it looking absolutely great. You know, we literally put all the little quirks and cushions on the, on the bed. Our competition, are the hotels. And one of the ways that we do market research on whether a property is gonna get fully booked up or not is we look at the hotels in the area and we see how booked up they are. And if they're fully booked up, then we know that we can rent a house out or an apartment out in the area and we know that our house will be fully booked up because we advertise in the same way that the hotels do. We list this on booking.com. There's four types of guests, generally speaking, that stay in properties like this. You've got builders and contractors, you've got business professionals, You've got tourists, but in this property, 90% of bookings that we've had on this property so far are relocators. That's people that are wanting to live in the property while they're waiting for their house to go through. When I bought this property, I knew that relocators were gonna be the popular type of guest. So we got this house family friendly. So twin bed here. So if you're like a family of four, or even maybe a family of five, a little baby with a cot room, you're good, you can stay in this house. And think about it, imagine if you are buying a house, it's very unlikely that your house sells on the same day that the new house completes. There's usually a few weeks whereby you're technically homeless because your house is just sold and you're waiting for your house to complete. Now you're not gonna want to go and rent a whole new house and have to get Wi-Fi set up and get council tax set up and get your utility bills and get a removal van just for the sake of a few weeks. And you can't, because AST contracts are a minimum of six months. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna stay in a hotel and, and have to book multiple hotel rooms and you've gotta keep your eye on your kids and it's, it's difficult. You're gonna book one big hotel room? No. 
you're going to stay in one of my houses and you're going to pay 150 to 250 pounds a night, which is the same you'd pay in a hotel anyway, but you've got your own kitchen, you've got a car parking space, you've got your privacy, and often three weeks turns into three months. So I'm happy. They're happy because they're getting their flexibility rather than having to move house and set everything up. They're not in a hotel. And this is the way of property investing in 2022.